Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Um, this is the reality. Like, you know, the Instagram versus realities is first thing in the morning and this is what she looking like. Um, and I'm hoping that with the assistance of my BoxyCharm Premium for the month of October, we can go from Hot Mess Express to phenomenal in a sense because um, I'm looking really um, worn out. As you guys are aware, BoxyCharm does send this box to me for review purposes, so I did not pay for her. I'm going to give you guys a full-on honest review as you know I always do. This box is the premium, so it retails for $35 every single month. No, no, they increased the prices. They increased the prices, and I think I think now it's like $39.99. It's $40, bucks. girl. Anyway, if you want my feedback on that... Um, click up here or in the description box and I'll have a video like giving you guys like my honest opinion from a previous active charmer and someone that gets PR you guys know I have to keep it 100 but anyway we're gonna move along this box is not $35 anymore they just increased the prices so as of November she will be $39.99 40 bucks let me open her up uh, uh, I am going to show you guys my variation and then we're going to put some of these items to play. I'm going to say some because I don't think I'll be able to use all of them right here and now. Item number one is the Vo Voyeur Voyeur Secrets in the Snow Soft Styling Foam. Apparently this is supposed to be for people with really curly hair. But you can also, it says all hair types, but then it really talks about uh, hair that's curly. My daughter has very curly hair. You guys have talked nothing but great things about this product ever since I spoke about it in a spoiler video and said that I could basically use it as well. So I am going to give this baby a try. The only thing is that the, the instructions say that you're supposed to use this on that pair and clearly we don't have that going on right about now. So I'll be using this behind the scenes and then give you guys feedback in the future. If I love it, I'll let you guys know whether I loved it or not and if it works for me or ties hair or both. I did want to smell it it smells nice weird enough it smells like what you would expect cold to smell like it's weird with a little bit of like a pretty fragrance to it I don't know I have issues I know I always try to come up with what my first thought what things smell like to me it smells pretty so I think it would help hair smell really really pretty but that is item number one off of my premium box item number two is this over here and I have no idea what it is Okay, they're uh, collagen pads for the under eye and it says keep them on for 20 to 30 minutes and it is, it's like iced coffee for the soul. If it goes under the under eyes, I don't know um, why they're saying soul, however, I get it. It's like a selling tactic, but this is the Dew of the Gods Under Eye Volumizing Collagen Pads. I'm going to go ahead and use these now. Oh, how many does it come with? It comes with 10 sets, so that's pretty awesome. I like the little tin can. The packaging is awesome. Clean and dry your face. Did that already. Peel, stick, and leave on for 20 to 30 minutes. Instructions are pretty straightforward. This is what the pads look like. They're not like super moist or anything like that. They don't smell like anything either. But I like that you just peel the back and it's a sticky because y'all know when it comes to me, whenever I have under eye like masks, pads, or anything like that, they tend to move around. So the fact that this has an adhesive on the opposite side, I'm pretty excited for. Did I do this right? Okay, the tiny side. Nope, I did not. The tiny side goes in based on the picture in the back. Oh, these are nice and cold. They're cooling even though they weren't in the fridge. It's weird. So I'm assuming if I put it in the fridge, it'd be even more cold, maybe even more effective. And then item number three is the 111 Skin Antioxidant Energizing Essence. This is what she looks like. I'm not opening her. Do I? You a little bit. That's not in English. Hold on. Okay. Day and night after cleansing, gently apply to the face, snack using. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. See, they say use it with you. Oh, this is pretty. Should I use her? Okay. No, I'm gonna hold on to this and use it tonight. This smells amazing. Oh my. I need a cotton pad, like now. This smells so good. Okay, 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 okay. I found some. So um, I did place an order with the AOA. They have bamboo reusable cotton pads, okay? Uh, this I, I have one that's already open and clean in the bathroom, but I'm not going all the way over there. This smells amazing. I wasn't even gonna use this. I have to. I'm glad I washed my face and did the most, exfoliated and everything. By the way, I'm not overdoing it. Just a really tiny bit comes out, like a tiny, tiny bit at a time. So I really have to... I haven't even soaked the damn thing yet. See, when skincare smells like this, I get happy to use it. 
All right, so I'm really happy about this. I wasn't even gonna use her. She's definitely going in the bathroom, but I'm glad I used her now. So you can use this day and night. The bottle's frosted, it's really pretty. Y'all know one on one skin is so expensive. Okay, now, now what are we gonna do? I know you're wondering, where's the makeup? Like, okay, a hair product, two skincare products. I'm really happy with like the two skincare products so far. The next three items are makeup items. My box did come with six products. That is so disrespectful. <laughs> The next item is by Rowan. It is a brow pencil. This is a spoiler I didn't know about until I knew about it and then I talked about it. I got it in the shade medium. How they chose their the, the colors, I can't tell you. Because even when it comes to like PR boxes, I am able to let them know I have olive skin tone, my eyes are dark brown, and my hair is X color. But when it comes to brows and stuff, like they don't, I don't know. So, um, but they did good. It says medium brown. Now here's the pencil. Pretty straightforward, it's just a pencil. You have a spoolie on one end, and then the product on the other one, it is very, very fine tip, which I personally kind of like because I have thin brows. We'll see what this formula looks like, but it is a nice brown. And look, the twister uppy mechanism works. Remember the last brown thing that we got with the multiple products in it? Mm-mm, that didn't work. Item number five happens to be the Benefit Georgia Blusher. I say blush highlighter because it has a shift to it. I saw so many of you guys were excited and were hoping you received this in your box. Look, I'm gonna set this to the side and throw it in a future giveaway because I already own it. Here is Georgia Peach. You see, so she has a little bit of a shift. It is a very, very fair, like, blusher. So you're gonna get a little hint of something. It's not gonna be super heavy. You can build it up and you'll see more of a highlight effect versus a blushing effect. And I'm sorry, she's learning to Google -go Gaga do all that talking. I'm surprised she's not screaming right about now. <coughs> Item number six happens to be the Tarte Man Eater Lip Plumping Gloss. It's a plumping lip gloss. It is in the shade buff. It did come in a box. I just took it out of the box. Mm. I'm gonna apply the lip gloss now just to see what it, Oh, look at that applicator. I just wanna see whether or not it plumps, it does anything between now and when I'm done with my makeup. It is a very sheer gloss. Let's see if it actually does any plumping. Not that I'm like expecting it to do anything, but that would be a plus if it does. It's really pretty though. Wait a minute. So the only two products that I have left to try are these two. <gasps> okay, let's fast forward to where my face is pretty much done. And we're gonna go ahead and play around with these two. Oh wait, it's been well over 20 minutes because of the baby and all that. But look, 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 let's take it off and see. I don't know, I'm expecting miracles or something because I was like, oh, maybe my little like pillows are gone. They're not, but I feel like my under eyes feel and look refreshed. Just saying. Maybe I'm being biased, I don't know. But that's what it kind of feels like. My base is on, it's really basic. I just really wanted to move on and try the other two products. So we're gonna move ahead and try the pencil. It's creamy, but it's not too creamy, so it's not gonna fall apart. The tip didn't break, which is great. And if I apply just a teeny tiny amount of pressure, I ended up getting full coverage. I think it's a really nice formula, nothing out of the ordinary. So many other pencils we've received that do the same thing, but I think it's awesome that I got a brow pencil that actually works this time. Onto the Georgia Peach Blusher. I wanna apply it with nothing else on my skin so you can see, like no bronzer or nothing, so you can see what it looks like. Grab my handy dandy brush. Now let's tap it in place. You see, it's more of a highlighter rather than like an actual blush. It does have a little hint of color to it. I don't know, maybe you guys can see this side here is a slightly peachier than this side. But it's definitely nothing super crazy. So if you're my complexion or lighter, I think it'll work. Maybe one or two shades slightly darker than me. Um, it would work anything deeper. Unfortunately, this won't work as a blusher, but it'll definitely work for all skin tones as a highlight. I'm gonna move right along. I finished the rest of my makeup off camera. I'll come back, give you final thoughts on everything, and we'll see if um, if there's a real difference on my lips. We'll see, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, we're back. My makeup is done. I removed the gloss just so that I can see what my lips look like, and to me, it looked the same. I don't see any extra plumping, nothing. It was on for quite some time too, and clearly I created all of this, and yes, I filmed it. Wait till you see what I used, you're gonna be like, really? Really? Anyway, um, the gloss is cute. I honestly think that the gloss, along with the shade, give you that illusion that your lips 
are plumper than what they really are. Like instantly, don't they look juicier? It's the color. It's the color and then the glossy effect. Nonetheless, I do think this box allowed me to go from Hot Mess Express to Phlebomino. I mean, I was able to pull my hair down. I haven't even combed it yet, but you know, I think it looks pretty good, all, all in all. Now, what I would really like is a box filled with just makeup, six parts, all makeup. That would be amazing. But we'll see, you know, with the changes and the price hike, uh, it's very possible that we'll see that very soon. So I have my fingers crossed. Let me know down below what you guys think about my variation, the products. Would you like this variation? Did you choose any of these products for your box? I'd like to hear you guys' thoughts. Thank you for choosing to spend a few minutes out of your day with me. It really means a lot. I'll see you guys later. Bye.